Hey everybody, we're gonna do a uh, cotton gauze oilable filter install on 2000 Toyota 4Runner today. So stick around and I'll see you there. Alright, I'm gonna take the intake box off and we're gonna put the clean filter in. And I'm using a, a snap-on screwdriver uh, bit driver with a DeWalt bit, just in case anybody wants to know. And that's what the old filter looks like. That's what the old pre-filter looks like. So it's not even the same. You can tell it's not the same. This one says Volant Intakes. And then this one says Volant Performance. So it's not even the same bag. But, you know, it is what it is. in this one. Those cable ties that I bought from Walmart, those red ones that are, you can reuse over and over again. I'm going to see if I can get this. I'm going to use one on the filter bag, see if maybe it will it'll work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like it might work. Yeah. All right. Nice and tight. Okay. And these are, these bolts are actually modified. A rubber piece actually came on them. The rubber piece. I actually put the metal washer on there. Um, it just feels like a better fit. And the rubber piece also keeps the, the actual metal washer from falling off. And you know, don't over tighten these either. They're just going into plastic. Nice and snug is all you need to do. done new filters put in <clears throat> so you can run a cane end filter in a volant system this is the actual volant filter i'll show you this says volant on the end the filter i just put in just says can end right there it's the exact same diameter filter it's a three inch inlet uh, I think the only difference is the K&N filter might be a quarter of an inch longer in length, but that's about it. I technically took this filter out when I was doing the headlights, and I just threw it back in until I could clean the other filter. Um, so this one's going to get cleaned. It's got bug guts and all kinds of nastiness in it, and it's dark brown. It's not even blue no more. But like I said earlier on the other section of the video, I do believe I'm just going to spray the K&N oil on this filter after it's clean instead of using the Volant um, oil. And I can show you on a separate video the Volant oil and how difficult it is. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And uh, if you want to see future updates, and go ahead and check out the Amazon affiliate links. Thank you, and I'll see you again.